Welcome to Big Pool Discipleship 101, The Bible in a Year, Week 16, from 1 Kings 10 through to 2 Kings 5, from Sheba to Greedy Gehazi. 1 and 2 Kings were originally one scroll. God promised that a messianic king would descend from David. Between, they were mostly corrupt kings. In 1 Kings 10, we begin with a queen's visit to Solomon. Where was she from? Sheba, possibly spanned from the Horn of Africa to the Southern Arabian Peninsula. Was Solomon more like a despotic pharaoh than a good king? In 1 Kings 11, as wise as Solomon was in many matters, how foolish was he in marriage, slavery, and taxation? Why was this contrary to God's instructions? How important is it to choose our friends wisely? Look at Proverbs 13, 20, 22, verses 24 and 25, and 1 Corinthians 15, verse 33. How did Solomon's wives influence him? In 1 Kings 12, what foolish decision did Solomon's son Rehoboam make about taxation? Why is it so often important to listen to older, more than younger advisors? Were Job's friends an exception to that rule? What did Jeroboam and the northern tribes of Israel decide? Israel splitting in two is the first great tragedy after King David. What did Shemaiah prophesy? Rehoboam ruled Judah. Jeroboam ruled Israel. What bad decision did Jeroboam make? In 1 Kings 13, what did the man of God prophesy? Was even the man of God disobedient? Did Jeroboam repent? In 1 Kings 14, what did Ahijah prophesy about Abijah, Rehoboam's son, and Israel? Was Rehoboam king of Judah any better? In 1 Kings 15, was the next king of Judah, Abijam, any better? He committed the same sins as his father Rehoboam. The next king in Judah was Asa. Did he begin well? Asherah poles were probably phallic fertility symbols. Obelisks, like the Washington Monument, probably descend from the Asherah pole. How did Asa, bribing a foreign king, reveal where his faith was? We'll learn about his end in Chronicles. What kind of king was Jeroboam's son Nadab in Israel? Was Baasha, after him, also evil? In 1 Kings 16, what message from God did the prophet Hanani's son Jehu deliver to Baasha? What happened to Baasha's son Elah, king of Israel? The next king in Israel was Zimri, who also did evil in the Lord's sight. The next king of Israel, Omri, built Samaria. Was he also evil? The next king in Israel was Ahab. Was he more evil than the kings before him? In 1 Kings 17, what did Elijah prophesy to Ahab? How does the widow of Zarephath picture our offerings to the church? How is a church budget an act of faith? What happened to the widow's son? In 1 Kings 18, what happened on Mount Carmel? In 1 Kings 19, what was Ahab's wife Jezebel's threat? How did God deal with Elijah's fear and depression? How does the still small voice show God's tenderness? What important job did God have left for Elijah to do? When we feel like we're alone in obeying God, let's remember how many had not bowed the knee to Baal. In 1 Kings 20, even after all Ahab's evil, did God give him another chance? How did Ahab blow it again? In 1 Kings 21, how did Ahab and Jezebel swindle Naboth? What was God's response? In 1 Kings 22, what happened when Jehoshaphat of Judah and Ahab of Israel consulted the Lord's prophet Micaiah? What did Ahab's 400 lying prophets say? Was Jehoshaphat king of Judah like his father Asa, mostly a good king? Was Ahab's son Ahaziah king of Israel evil like his father? In 2 Kings 1, what was Elijah's message to Ahaziah after his accidents and he consulted false gods? Does Ahaziah's reaction show how stupid we can be when we don't want to hear words contrary to our own ideas? As we continue reading, let's notice how kings are evaluated by their faithfulness to God versus idolatry of false gods. Of 20 kings of Israel, none are good. In Judah, only 8 of 20 were somewhat good. 
The prophets of the Lord had a very difficult role. They brought God's message to repent of idolatry and injustice. Elijah and Elisha were the two most prominent. In 2 Kings 2, who was Elijah's successor? What happened to the boys who mocked Elisha's boldness? In 2 Kings 3, what did Elisha prophesy to Ahab's son Joram, king of Israel? In 2 Kings 4, what happened with Elisha and the poor widow? What did God do through Elisha for the woman at Shunem? What miracles did he perform during a famine? In 2 Kings 5, how was Naaman, the Syrian general, healed? Did God's instructions at first seem silly to him? How was Gehazi, Elisha's servant, a greedy liar? What happened to him? Well, that's it for this time. Until next time, God be with you.